everyone, uh, back to another video. Uh, we went to go lift the Jeep and found out it had a little more rust than we thought. So, uh, I'm actually pulling the interior out right now. Uh, I got the back carpet out. Uh, Morgan's over there, I got a bolt stuck in a socket. She's trying to get out from the seat. But I got the front seats out. Next thing we're gonna do is get the center console, those seat belts off, and so we can get this front carpet out. Plan here is to take the floor pans out the best I can, replace them, uh, fix all the rust, clean, clean, clean it up all back here. Try to fix all the rust for the floors and stuff for now. And I need to get to this flame wheel because this is the problem we ran into. Is I had to cut a little hole in there. You guys can't really see, but where that hole is, there's a little box in there that holds a bolt to it inside the flame wheel. Well, the little box rusted out, but the flame wheel is solid around it. So I'm going to have to make a new box for that. I may have to do it to this side too. So there's going to be a lot of work done here. Videos may be more spread apart because I got to buy a welder. I got to buy t more tools. I got to buy metal. So a lot of money is going to be spent here. But well, let's get this all, all this interior out for now and see how bad the front is. And then we're probably going to vacuum this out. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got all the carpet seats out, uh, front seat belts and stuff I'm gonna take out eventually, I don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, so, this, these corners are gonna take a little bit longer, obviously, because I gotta make some stuff and whatnot. I had a guy come look at it that, uh, does a lot of this kind of stuff and he says it's, it's not too bad to do, but it's gonna take some time for the corners. So I'll replace anything, any of the holes back here and whatnot in the trunk area. Up here, uh, it gets a little worse up through there, but it's not too bad. There's still solid spots. It's mostly solid, on, mostly solid all through the edges, mostly. So there shouldn't be too much stuff that I run into problems with. Up there where it goes to the real well, it's soft in certain spots, but it's savable. I uh, won't have to get into the real world too much, but over here is a different story. On the driver's side, it is, uh, it's a little rougher. So there is solid against the edges and stuff, and up towards the tranny mount, uh, tranny cover, whatever you call it, pretty solid. But that real well right there, that black pieces, is rotted up there a good ways, so I may have to get that. Uh, see if I can find a replacement panel for that or make one right there there's a nice little hole I don't know what you'd call it on this and there's nothing there so I'm gonna have to do something there but the flames are all solid the unibody so we got a good place to work with if anything this is my first time doing something like this it's probably gonna take me a while to do or whatnot and pretty much a learning experience but we should get it to turn out pretty decent but stay tuned uh next part of this video i'm going in for now but next part of this video i'll be uh getting all this loose rust out and vacuuming and all this and see what else i have to take off i probably gotta pull the gas tank down and whatnot back there so i can uh if i had to cut anything i don't catch everything on fire but yeah let's get her fixed up Alright guys, so we're back out here working on the next period right now. I'm just going to focus on the driver's side and work my way around. Uh, I'm just going to pick up all the loose metal that I can get so I don't go into the shop back like that. Then I'm going to vacuum it up and get a good look of what it looks like now so you know what it looks like afterwards. We got one of the shop lights working again because uh, the bulb's blue. Gotta get the other one. Uh, Alright guys, so let me get this sleep down up here and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Alright guys, so uh, that's all vacuumed up the best I can. You see down there in the uh, flame wheel, I bought some wire brushes uh, that hook up to my drill. I don't know what you call them, wire wheels or something like that. Before we put the new floor pans on, I'll clean out everything in there, all the rust. And I'll coat it with something. I haven't figured out what yet, but I will do that. Now I'm just going to go do the same thing to the back and front. I won't film all that. I am going Friday to pick up a welder and I'm going to try to pick up sheet metal for the back of there Thursday, I think. 
And if we get sheet metal in the road on Thursday, we're gonna start on the back and we're gonna start trying to get these uh, loose spring bolts fixed on both sides because I'm pretty sure that one did the same thing. So it's a working project, work in progress, not working project. I can't start and run if I strapped a bucket down there, but don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, yeah, we may pull off the front end stuff on this and put on the Wrangler so I can start driving that in the meantime. And I'll just buy a uh, rough country uh, front end kit for it. I forgot what it's called. If I can find it, I'll show you guys a picture. But uh, yeah, so next time you guys see me, I'll be out here probably on Friday with the new rotor and metal. Alright guys, so we're back out here working on the Jeep. I got the drill out. Uh, Dylan's out here. He's going to be helping me today. Uh, we're going to uh, start wire brushing around the wheel wells and stuff. Where we're going to be cutting. We're going to take this whole back pan out. Because I'd have to do a lot of patching here there. And I just, it'd be easier to take it out. It may cost a little more money, but it'd be better in the long run. Uh, we'll probably wind up getting this cut out today, hopefully. And then that'll be the end of this video, but uh, I still haven't got my road. I'm going Friday. Today's Monday, so we got a few days for that. Like I said previous in this video that these videos are going to be uh, more spread apart, but here we go. Let's start uh, while wheeling around and slight cutting. Alright guys, so if you can hear me, got Dylan on that side. I already did that side, what I wanted to do. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about this project. Uh, let's just see how it turns out. But I'll update you guys when we start cutting. I haven't decided how I'm gonna cut it out yet, but getting there, it's all a learning experience for me. All right, guys, we're gonna start getting this floor cut out now. Uh, I got the rotor, it's right there. Uh, I gotta practice with it a little bit still. Got a little tank of gas. Got four of these 4x4 four four sheet metals, and yeah, let's get the floor cut out. I marked out what I want to cut out first. Get a piece cut out of this and start laying floor down, but yeah, Morgan's out here right now trying to get the garage warm. It's negative temperatures outside right now. I'm pretty sure it's still, or uh, it was this morning, so it's, it's pretty cold out. But uh, yeah, let's get going. guys so I got that all cut pulled up uh there's probably spot roads all through these little lines so it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass to get off to be honest but I gotta mark out back there and do the same I just did here and cut the sides so I'll update you guys after I get this panel off all right guys so Morgan's still out here uh Dylan came out we just got that out so that's completely out I took it out one piece used their hammer on the spot roads Kept pulling back, hit him with a hammer. Didn't take too long. But now we gotta try to make a piece of metal to fit all this. I'm not too worried about the corners. I'll make a separate piece for that corner, separate piece for that corner. And just get this main area covered with metal again. Uh, gotta clean the flame wheels and everything. You guys see that in the next video. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully I'll cut myself. There's the old. Now. Not too bad. I'm actually kind of starting to enjoy it. A little bit scared still, but we're getting there. Pull this gas tank out too, so don't blow up on us. But uh, thanks for watching. That's going to be the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll be working on this again.